position the hand like that. And I want to get right in there to look at this UCL ligament of the thumb. And you can see you need a, a oblique probe angle. So that's the UCL ligament. There's two bands to it. So if you're more aligned with the finger, we'll see one part of it. And then if we oblique even more towards the palmar side, we see the other side of the ligament. So now what we're going to do is a dynamic assessment of the joint. So rather than grab the joint and stress it, all we do is get the patient to passively flex and extend the thumb. So if you can start that up. And what you're looking for is this little white band slipping over the top of the ligament. So this is the ligament here. It looks like a moustache or a bird's wing. Just a little bit faster back and forth. And if that's over the top of the ligament, then we know we haven't got what's called a stenner's lesion. So stenner lesions uh, need a surgical repair, whereas if the ligament's just thick and sprained but still attached at both ends, we don't need any surgery. So we just put it in a thumb brace. So part of the assessment, look at the bone, make sure there's no avulsion along the cortical surface, then look at the thickness of the overall ligament compared to the other side. So if I was doing the other side, Rotate like that. In this portion, so we would measure it at the metacarpal end and have a look at the phalangeal end. So if it ruptures, it's going to pull off the phalangeal end and flick back on itself or just pull a little piece of bone off. So there's the angle and then we're going to passively flex and extend or we can get them to actively flex and extend if they're happy to. And you can see the upper neurosis over the top. And that's a nice normal ligament on both sides.